Hey everybody, welcome to the Lunar Lowdown with me, Sally Nerney. This is the lowdown for the full moon of November 30th, where we have the sun in the middle degrees of Scorpio and the moon directly across the way in the middle degrees of Taurus. When I dropped in for this full moon, I found myself deep within the earth, nestled next to the earth light. As I rested here, primarily the message that comes is one of stillness, quiet and rest, hibernation. Now sleep is a very funny thing. We may accidentally think of it as a time when we're doing nothing, but actually our bodies are incredibly busy restoring us so that when we arise in our awakened consciousness, we are revitalized and able to meet our lives with renewed vigor and attention from this place of deep slumber and renewal. I ask for the stars of Scorpio and Taurus to guide us in what we need to know now at this full moon, at the heart of the scorpion and the eye of the bull. Immediately, I feel almost overwhelmed with a sense of nurturing, a sense, maybe even a demand that you do not overdo, that you find stillness and you pause in the light of the full moon to look out upon the land where you live long enough to tune into the natural quiet, the drawing in and down of life force. This is the opposite energy that leaps forth at the end of sticks as leaves and flowers in springtime. This is the inhale to match that exhale. And when I got still, really, really still, to ask the stars, what they wanted you to hear. I'll be honest, I was moved to tears with the emotional wave that came with these very simple words. Be, Be reborn, reborn anew, anew, anew unto thyself, unto thyself, thyself this moon. Do this through the simple process of not trying so hard, of not doing so much, of not striving so far. Rest into this gift to unbe, to unburden, to let go of all of the identities, even for just several minutes, dropping the masks and the veils that hide you from yourself. Can you track your impatience and your wiggliness if you struggle to sit still to attune to this? Because many years ago, many moons ago, the stars said to me, Scorpio teaches that without veils, we are quick to grow, quick to evolve, quick to deepen our understanding of ourself, our destiny, and the world around us. This moon asks, can you drop the masks and the veils that separate you from yourself? This kind of self-honesty and vulnerability can be challenging and we may shy away from it, but the bright light of Taurus that seeks to illuminate what lies beneath is a kind, loving, and life-affirming light. What treasures and surprises might greet you if you get really, really still. My teachers, Anastasia Nutt and RJ Stewart have taught me so much about stillness and about the opportunity we have to unbe. Please remember our Western culture has a generally established belief that we live only once and then we end up either in heaven or hell or nowhere. So this plants a seed, a subconscious sense of annihilation that can persuade us to really cling to our identities. 
but let the land around you be your teacher. As each winter it pulls inwardly in the appearance of doing nothing, only to reemerge in spring in rich bloom. Fundamentally, this full moon illuminates some of the deepest mysteries that we face as humans on Earth, that of life and death, true every day and heightened by the world's events of the last year and heightened by this astrology. Here, swimming within Scorpio and Taurus's tides, we discover that while the rational and the linear have their place, they lose their authority in the process of death, in the process of birth. As each of you who have been first hand witnesses to death and birth events knows in your soul. Be, Be reborn, reborn anew, anew, anew unto thyself, unto thyself, unto thyself this moon. Oh, thanks so much for watching. Bye.